Hello, I'm going to teach you a little bit about taking care of your feet and ankles and the soft tissue that surrounds it. So I'm here sitting on my couch with a little ottoman here, but uh, I'm going to take my right leg with the knee bent, cross the left calf up over the knee, and you can see it just kind of the calf tissue smushes around the knee. So I'm using that knee as a hard surface to kind of pin the muscle tissue and looking for those dense spots that feel like ropes or just overused, overworked muscles. So going to sit there for about 30 to 45 seconds. I'll speed it up for video, but uh, just kind of rest there, let your muscles melt. And then we're going to start pumping the ankle up. Toes can come up, heel pushing away. Ankle can come down, try and take the toes down. Now in each position of ankle down or ankle up, you have different combinations of toes could be up. And then all the way ankle up, toes up, or I could have toes down while the ankle's up. And so I just want those combinations, watch out for cramping, go slow and under control. Meanwhile, the tibia, the lower leg bone's not moving, just pumping the foot. When I'm done with that, three to five reps or so and some combinations with the toes, I'm gonna to take my ankle through a big circle and we'll go both directions. So maybe two reps this direction clockwise and then counterclockwise coming up, rotating and look, combinations of toes up or down are great. Pay attention, might make some noise um, at first, but as you do these more and more, you're gonna get your ankle joint lubricated, muscles around there are stronger, and we're creating some relative tissue motion in between where that knee is pinning and down to the Achilles tendon and pass that through the foot and toes. So do this every day, every chance you can, uh, lying in bed, seated on a chair uh, or couch, or even on an airplane, cross your leg up over the knee and start moving your foot. That's how you get fit, not hurt.